Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I have a pretty cool DIY project. I got these USB-C PCB boards for DualShock 4s. So I'm going to be making all my DualShock 4s have USB-C charging and data transfer instead of micro USB. So I started with the DualShock 4 I care the least about because this is going to be a bit of a destructive project. First you got to unscrew it, crack it open. This one opens really easily because it's been modified to heck. I had to replace the micro USB port on this controller before and the battery. And here's the PCB itself. That's what it looks like compared to the original. So we've got to pop that out and then we're going to have to do some grinding of the plastic shell to make room for the new port. So these PCBs are made by this guy here. He has a YouTube channel and two stores where you can buy these directly from him. They actually sell out pretty often, so they might not be available if you click the link, which I'll put in the description, of course. And he makes specific PCBs for the different generations of the DualShock 4. This blue model is the 055 version of the DualShock 4. And this is me using a engraving tool as a tiny little Dremel for somewhat precise grinding of the plastic and I also use an exacto knife for cutting off larger chunks but you'll see that in a bit more on the next controller I do and then as I was grinding I just checked the fit of the USB-C port see if it fit and then once it seemed pretty good I tried screwing it down and it seemed to work okay so then I just had to put it back together And of course you want to make sure it's working by plugging it in and connecting it to the console. And everything seems to be working perfectly, so that's great. Let's try the next one. So this is the original DualShock 4 that came with my PS4 when I first bought it back with Arkham Knight when that bundle came out. This is the 011 model. So this is a different PCB than the one that I just did. And as you can tell, it's got a yellow front, which is not official. So that was a DIY mod that I did a long time ago. Sort of like this listing here, um, but it was many years ago, so it might not be exactly the same anymore. Pretty much the same steps, the orientation and size of the PCBs vary between models, so that's the only difference. But opening up the controllers is pretty similar between models. If you've opened up one, the other one won't surprise you. I spent a bit more time with this one trying to be a bit more careful with my precision and I liked how I was able to keep the USB icon intact, the little tiny one above the port. And also the final result was actually more flush with the plastic whereas on the blue one the port was sticking out a little bit.
Unfortunately, with the rest of my controllers, it actually got worse. I think it also depends a lot on the controller model that you're modifying. I think the less optimized size and construction of the 011 model tends to lend itself better to an easier fit for the USB-C board, whereas the newer controllers aren't as forgiving and are much more finely engineered for the original PCB. And of course, this is the 20th anniversary gray DualShock 4, which is a 030 model, and this is the Alpine Green DualShock 4, which is also a 055 model like my blue controller that I did first. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments if you've tried out these mods or if you'd like to try this out now that you've seen it. And of course, I'll have links to these USB-C ports in the description. Bye-bye.